So first, you need to start out with the circle tool. Circle tool is over here. And then it's uh, you can see the cursor change to a pencil with a circle mark on it. Then you left click on any plane, on any surface. Then it uh, is asking you for a radius over here in the lower right hand side. And then you can enter whatever radius you need. So let's say one meter radius. Okay. So now you can enter a height using the push tool over here. So let's say about the same height as this person. That's around 1.77. Let's just say 1.8. Okay. So now you have a cylinder. So how to make the top part of the tank? You can use a combination of the follow me tool and the two point arc. So first we'll need to locate the center. Um, it's faster to just draw a line on the center and then draw a vertical um, aligned on blue axis lines. You see here on my screen, the line says on blue axis and also it's colored blue. Make sure to lock um, not really a necessary step, but it's, uh, it's good to lock your lines in a specific axis. So now I press the up button and it locked the, the line in the blue axis. So no matter where I go, no matter how I rotate, the line is locked to the blue axis or the Z axis, the third dimension. Okay. So we'll just make a top that looks like that. Then we'll make a plane or a surface using the two-point arc. There's also other ways to make arcs here. Draw a close arc. Let's try this one. Oh, okay, this one needs to rotate. So maybe I'll just use this one. Okay, so two-point arc, you just left-click this, left-click the first point, left-click the second point, and then the key thing here is to create a um, an arc that's aligned to your, uh, to your existing lines, for lack of a better word. Note this, it says here on blue axis. On your newer version of SketchUp, there should be something similar. But if you make sure it's aligned on blue axis, because my lines are also in blue axis, it should create a plane like that. If it doesn't create a surface, that means the line is not uh, aligned. <laughs> so let me try to make a line that isn't, or an arc that isn't aligned. So notice if I go change the camera angle, you'll see that the arc is skewed to the side. So even if it looks like it's closed from this angle, if you rotate your camera, you can see that it definitely is not. So make sure to rotate your camera. Again, I'm using the orbit command. And you can do orbit using the middle mouse wheel. So you can spin around to make sure your arc is correctly aligned with your uh, guideline. So let's do that again. Left click here, left click here, and then rotate the camera. Make sure it's on the right surface. So that looks good. Okay, so this is just a quick way to make a, the top part of the cylinder. So the next step is to use the follow me tool. So follow me, uh, according to SketchUp here, follows a path with a selected face or surface. So first you need to select your path. For me, the path is this circle. Then I'll click the follow me. And that's how you create that part. So you can just copy the surface actually. No problem. Just copy that. Uh, let's see. Is there a copy shortcut here? No, it doesn't seem to be. So I was hoping there would be, but this is how I usually copy objects. So I select the move tool, press control, then left click and it creates another copy. And then I'll just rotate this using the rotate tool to rotate. I can select any point on the object. But for me, I'll just select this plane here, left click, hold the left click button, and then I'll rotate it along the, uh, let's see here, green axis. So it's now like that at an angle of 180. And then I'll just move it again without pressing control. And then just making sure it's aligned. Oops. I think I'll just make this a group so it doesn't snap onto the object. Something like that. Now let's move this over here-ish. Okay, there, down there. So it just takes a little bit of finagling so we can get everything aligned. Okay, oh, it's not super aligned. I'll just move that over there and move this over here. 
I'll just smooth in the edges. Okay. Okay. So it's kind of like that. Make this a group. Make everything a group. Then just move it like that. Okay. So let's save this as a tank. Okay, let's say you want to draw legs. The next video will show you how to make legs very easily. So uh, let's say you will need a path like this. Like that. And then let's say we have a... Actually, I'll just do it here on this video. Okay, we have that. Oh, okay, we have a... And I'll just draw it down here. Line like this. Give it a bit of an angle. I'm not even measuring the angle. I just need a line that looks like that. Okay. Then I'll just create a circle. Mm, actually, I think it's better if we just draw a line like this. I'll create a circle that's Again, align with the line. So make group. Now create circle here. Let's say something like that. Then align the circle to the center. Use the follow me tool to create a leg. Actually, I don't need the follow me tool for this. I can just push pull. <laughs> okay. So let's say I'll make uh, this one here. Make that one like that. say like that make group I'll just rotate this say like that that yeah, looks good enough for me and then here's another cool thing you can do with the rotate so you can rotate along a center point let me explode this because they can't detect okay there we go right, let me explode it again right click explode okay so now I have this object and also this circle Using the rotate tool, like so, we dry there. Okay. So another trick with rotate, you need a flat surface to make sure it's aligned with the blue axis. Notice it's blue now. But if I move my camera, it becomes aligned with the face of the cylinder. So I just need the camera to go down. And then if I want it to stay blue, I can hold shift. But uh, this at this point, I'm not holding shift. Just trying to find the center of the circle. Maybe I'll just draw a line faster that way. There we go. Let's draw the line to the center. Okay. So using the center point, I can use the rotate tool. Then press control. Select my, um, what do you call this? Um, leg. And then I can create multiple legs. Like so. I can just estimate maybe something like that. And I'll do... 3x. So how the array works, or the command array command, it counts 3x. Um, 3x counts the existing selected object. So if I want four legs, I already have two. I need two more, but it counts my existing legs. So I'll just put in 3x. So now we have four legs. You can be more precise, but that's the general gist of it. Then you create as many legs as you want or like uh, depending on the location that you want but anyway that's how to create a simple tank and then uh, we'll discuss more in class so thank you for watching